Alright guys, welcome to Great Lake. This is a bit of a quick overview of the map for Sparta. Maybe just champion mode play in general. So it's quite a big map. And a bit like Treasure Island. You're going to really be wanting to probably go for your dock above all else. If you can get away with it. And unlike Treasure Island, the rush distance is horrendously long so the land rush distance well the ship rush distance is actually shorter so the ship play is really really the integral focus of the map if you can nail it unless there's some sort of really aggressive spearman first you know ears pinned back type play and your opponent sort of gets called out because you're playing as if like Celts where you are really able to play it into an aggress, you know, as quickly and aggressively as possible, particularly against civs like Norse or Babylonian, where they're a little bit more delayed on the land, and ultimately will be a little bit more slow on the water as well, because they do start with a, uh, extra food, but less wood. And yeah, I'm gonna go for me dock. So generally, the meta build is something like this, where you are gonna work towards aging up, trying to pump out a quick warship as early as you can, just so you can secure this water. Just making sure you're gonna get a lot of wood. The beauty of being Norse too, is that I have access to dogs, so I've got a zero pop 20 food unit to, apologies, try and raid with early on, and I will commit to the extra, no actually I'll hold it off until I age up, until I get that first warship out, that'll be my focus today, because if he doesn't commit to the uh, water, I get it for free. So that's a really good mindset to sort of have on this map in particular considering there's not only all the fish down here but also up here and it means you don't necessarily have to wall this off if your opponent's units funnel through here and you've got warships early on you can attack them with that oop I lost my range scout so that's not so good particularly you know as an horse player I've got to have to send a villager now to go for like a little proxy push with doggies you know use a little war uh, outpost out in the map and try and force out one of these long ships as quick as I can as well. Try and rally it over here because if he, say, was a player committing to lots of fishing boats, delaying his age too, if I get that long boat out, long ship out, he's buggered. It's really hard for him to come back from that on the water. Unless, say, he's got the dock up here and I'm a bit slow on it and I don't happen to respond in time. So, yeah, guys. Yeah, here. We get to see it happen in action. So I'll just park the uh, bloke up there. Nearly scout bloke. And myself do that as well. So I'm actually going to keep me villagers there. Being Norse, I'm going to go for the doggies. And I don't even necessarily have to squeeze out another long ship, I don't think. Probably going to be able to get away with another. Oh. No, I maybe we'll just commit to one just to be safe. And the villager back so you can chop some wood as well. So this is a bit of a north specific map cheese. But other civs can also say proxy barracks here. Or go for a more standard conventional play of throwing down stables and you know, giving cavalry out on this big map so that they can really pu say punish up here once you've also already taken the water Oops. once you've already taken the water and established control all we've got to start doing is really picking off the outlying resources and it's such a big map here so I can start spreading out myself Oh, under attack, eh? 
Wow. Once I get the max doggies, I'll go raid his woodline. I could even potentially double dock in this scenario as well. Just to establish a bit of dominance. Hit with these. And yeah, you can also look at, say, walling up, finding out where it's sort of going to be thinnest here, and walling up or even walling up. Once you've established control, all this. And all up here as well. Really forcing your opponent in the corner of the map. And now, you know, I've got the land, I've got the water. It's GG from here in most cases. So, yeah, guys, that's a bit of a guide on how you should approach Great Lake. This, uh, Epic but annoying water map. It's really big. Bear in mind. You may have to do that if you're trying to wall up this little strait and there's fish there. Same goes for maps like Oasis. So they are actually, you know, not buildable upon. Unlike hunts. Wonder if that could be changed. And yeah, sieves with early raiding pressure out of, say, you know, dogs or say Celt spears or every other sieve just with their cavalry on this map is pretty integral behind a stables push or if you happen to get lucky with a good uh, use of spearmen early on you can also really sort of buy yourself the space to play without the water but it is a lot harder to do I think personally and so I think the best bet is really trying to rush out those warships on this map and yeah guys that's my little tip video for Great Lake.